Hey everybody. So what we're looking at in today's video are some window chime units that I just uh, ordered. Well, window chime, they have a chime option. Their window alarms is what they're advertised as, which you can set them to chime or you can set them to alarm. As you can see on the side here where my camera won't focus. Okay, so this video isn't so much about this product specifically. I'm not doing a product review on these GE um, versions of these uh, window alarms. Rather, what I'm here to tell you is what you need to be looking for when you do order a set for yourself at your own home. So the basics of how this works is you can set it to chime or alarm. And what happens is, I'm gonna get real close here so you can listen. So when this separates, can you hear that little bit of, right there, right there. So when that thing gets roughly, that's actually about three quarters of an inch apart but when you slide it up and down it's even quicker to where it's right around a half inch or even a three-eighths of an inch when the separation occurs for these to go off the chime will sound or the alarm will sound as so let's turn the uh, chime on first which is nothing more than like when you walk into a store and then of course this alarm right here you wanna make sure you're not wearing headphones for this or back your headphones away from your ear. So that's essentially how these work. Now, I already just showed you where the problem is with these alarms. And this is what you need to look for when you order a set for your own home. So if I take this thing and I mount it in my window and somebody comes along and tries to open my window and get into my house, what's gonna happen is the alarm's gonna go off. But all they have to do is shut the window back as soon as they hear that alarm and the alarm stops. And to tell you the truth, of course this camera picks up on sound very good and I have a microphone attached to it. So that probably sounded really loud, that alarm did, but that's actually only 100 decibels. So while it's loud and while it can cause hearing damage at close range, if this thing goes off and you're, let's say this is the kitchen and I am 30 feet away sleeping in my bedroom and somebody goes to open it and that alarm goes off briefly and they catch on to what they've just done and they shut the window again and it stops going off, I might sleep right through it. So there's no actual active monitoring. This alarm, when it went off, it went off here. It didn't go off where I'm sleeping in my room. So I might not hear that alarm, and once that guy realizes, or whoever, guy, girl, is breaking into my house and they realize, hey, I can't do that again, I need to find an alternate way, or I can just break the window. So that's the thing about this, once they realize it's there, they can just break the window, and this won't go off. This will not go off, they break the window. So one thing that you really need to consider is the sound and the uh, decibel level. And again, even though these put off 100, you probably wanna be maybe 120, 130 if they make them that loud. Because this right here won't even alert my neighbor. And again, like I said, if I'm in another room when it goes off, I might sleep right through that very brief sound of alarm. So you want a higher decibel level. And another thing that you want is something that doesn't stop going off when you put it back together again. So, as I was saying, you see how easy that would be to realize the mistake that was just made and you, you, know, you close it back together, shut the window, what have you, shut the door back, you can shut the alarm right back off and be like, whoops. You need something that's gonna either continually go off until you have to remove the battery or something like that, or the alarm doesn't need to come from this. Meaning, if this separates in this window, I need an alarm that's gonna go off on my person while I'm asleep in my room. I need an alarm going off in my room letting me know that one of my window units has been breached or a certain door has been opened. See this right here, again, I might not even hear it go off. My neighbors aren't gonna hear it go off. It's not loud enough. If they're sitting there watching TV in their living room, even if it goes off on an exterior window that's right next to their side of the you know side of the house, they're not going to know. So these are basically just to alert you when you are awake and inside your home. 
that's essentially all these are good for. So when you're looking for a product like this, that is my recommendation, higher decibel level, active monitoring, something that alerts your cell phone or alerts authorities, you know, or alerts your neighbors if you live in a neighborhood where you all get along. But yeah, something that just merely makes a noise right at the point of entry, it's a deterrent, but it's not going to protect you and stop somebody from quickly realizing how to disable that deterrent and continue on doing what they're trying to do, which is break into your house. So these little 16, 17, $20 uh, window chimes, window unit alarms, whatever you want to call them, are they worth it? Not really. You need to take your home security a little more seriously than buying a little alarm to go on your door. Again, these are good for inside a store if you want to know that someone just walked in if you have you know like a room where you have like money or something and you want to be alerted if an employee tries to sneak in there then you know yeah something like this will work but as far as trying to protect your home just a simple little unit like this that makes noise at the point of entry that is not going to do the job cute little units but i wasted my money